Hi, everybody. Uh, this week, we're going to look at looping. Um, looping is similar to timers in a little way, um, but um, instead of being linked to real time, I guess the best way to think of looping is um, you're going to keep doing this continuous loop until a condition's met, and it loops uh, on the clock rate speed of the computer. So we can't link it to real time. We link it to the computer's, um, we'll say the computer's clock rate speed of the processor, which is very fast. And the one thing I want you to keep in mind with looping is, is that um, we're going to, you can't break this loop. It just keeps going and going and going and going until you, you meet a condition. Um, so let's look at a very simple assignment today, a nice intro assignment to looping. So I have a, an assignment here that says looping part one. So we'll say, okay. And we'll open up a blank screen. What I'd like you to do is put on two text boxes, uh, two labels, and one button. So do that. Okay. These are two labels. Find the text boxes. Okay, and right, let's move this closer and let's get a button. Okay, so the idea for this is going to be we're going to. Um, have a start number and an end number and we're going to keep we're going to have the loop continue until the end number is um uh the end number is less than the start number or sorry yeah that's right so uh let's just change this here so this will be our start number so we're go to properties window and this i'm just i'm just changing the text here so this will say instead of label one it will say start number say end number I'll have my button say i don't know we'll say loop it and then we have text box one and text box two so I'm going to link it to um, message boxes. So what we'll do is we'll go into the code. I'll put it under the button primarily. Um, I'm going to declare top. I'm going to use two things. I'm going to ask them to put in a start number. So let's do this. Let's go dim start num as integer. So that's our starting number. Or you know what? Let's just say start number. Dim start number is integer. Dim and number as integer and then what i want to happen when the button is clicked is i want to make sure the start number equals whatever the users put into box one dot text and my end number equals text box to dot text okay so what that means is if i look at my design uh, my start number is going to equal whatever they, the user puts in here they could put a started at two started at zero one whatever you'd like and the end number where it where it finishes so if i go back to my code i'm gonna here i'm gonna make a little loop so this is what i want to happen so i'm gonna write the word do so do this set of instructions Okay, so we're going to do this. So what we're going to do is do uh, start number equals start number plus one. So we're going to add to it. And my message box is going to show the start number. So number okay and then what I want to do here I have this loop here that comes to the do 
do until or do while uh, it's your choice. It, you, so this is where the loop continues on until you loop until a condition's met or you loop while a condition is still happening. It's They're pretty much the same. It's a preference or how you like to use it. For I'll use a, a do a, a loop while. So we're going to loop while num1 start number is less than n number. Okay, so what that means is if my start number is at zero and my end number is at, at five, I'm going to have zero and it'll show in a message box. Then I'll have one, then, it'll, it, then two, then three, then four, then five. Now, loop while the start number is less than the end number. So four is less than five, so it'll keep looping. But if five is less than five, that's not a true statement. So the loop will break and it'll stop. Let's take a look. Hope everything works out here. Let's take a quick look at how this is going to go. Okay, so just as I said, I'm going to start at zero and I want my end number to be five. So if we look at my program, my start number is zero right here. When I push loop it, my end number is going to equal text box two dot text, which is right here, which is five. It will keep doing this loop. Let's see if we say okay. I'm not even put, I'm not even pushing it. It's just short, putting these message boxes until that condition's met. Okay, so that continued to loop until the start number was. Uh, it'll keep doing the loop while the start number is less than the end number. Probably should say uh, this should probably go here. Let's see if I can change a few things around to make it a little bit better. Okay. Well, we do something like this. Now, notice the zero didn't show up as the first number. So I'm just going to change the order of things here. Let's see if that helped. So let's start it at zero. Let's end it at five. Loop it. There's the zero. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. And that's a bit more indicative or more realistic because four is less than five, but five is equal to five for this line here. So the loop's going to keep going until this condition is not true. Okay, so while it'll keep looping it while the first number is less, still less than the last number. So I'll do it one more time, but I'll change up my numbers. Okay, so what if my start number is three? and my end number seven so i hit loop it i should get three four is less than seven so it'll keep looping five is less than seven it'll keep looping six is less than seven but it stops there because seven is equal to seven not less than so the loop breaks and the condition breaks i hope that gives you an idea of how loops work um and about looping while uh, a condition is still or something's happening or a loop until a condition is met um, and the next one, we'll look at um, a different type of loop uh, that will have something come across the screen. That's it for now. Hopefully, you can recreate this project and, uh, and get a very small, uh, simple looping assignment together. Okay, talk soon. Bye-bye.